Hello, hello dear friends and welcome back to the channel where we dive deep into the exciting world of Guild Wars 2 and the place where I'm trying to provide you with useful guides and tips for this amazing MMO. Today I have something truly special for you, I will show you how to craft the legendary ring Conflux. The Conflux is a legendary ring that can be obtained exclusively from playing Worlds, World vs World and probably is one of the easiest legendary trinket that you can craft because it's not tied to long and boring time gated achievements. Like any other legendary in Guild Wars 2 you can change the stats of Conflux on the fly, furthermore you can effortlessly insert or remove infusions, all that of course if you are out of combat. Thanks to the legendary armory you'll be able to equip it on every single character you play without any armor or weapon class restrictions. Probably the best part is that this legendary is non-unique item, that means you can wear two rings at the same time. You might already be aware that crafting a legendary in Guild Wars 2 seems as easy as tossing four items into the Mystic Forge. For the legendary ring conflux these items are the mystic tribute, the gift of the world, the gift of conquering and the mist band. But let me tell you something, it's not quite as straightforward as it sounds. Each of these components has its own complex path and the journey to obtain or crafting can be hard and time consuming. In this video I'm going to break it all down for you. We'll examine each of these four items separately and I will show you how to craft them step by step. Throughout this process I will be sharing valuable tips on where to source the necessary materials and currencies as well as the most efficient way to farm them. So by the time we are done you'll be well prepared to the monumental challenge that lies ahead. To embark on this legendary crafting journey there are a few requirements you should have in mind. First. Ensure that you possess a character with one of the main crafting professions with level 500 with the exception of cooking, jeweler and scribing. Additionally, proficiency at level 400 in disciplines like armor smith, weapon smith or huntsman is a must. Beyond your crafting expertise, uh, you will want to, to secure at least 1850 world vs world skirmish claim tickets which are playing a key role in this process. And at last but not least, don't forget to gather 5 gifts of battle. Before we dive into crafting this legendary ring, I would like to ask for a small favor from all you awesome folks out there. If you find this guide helpful and engaging, why not give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends? Your support is immensely valuable and helps me keep creating content like this. Take a moment to write a comment, I would love to hear your thoughts and experiences. And if you are truly excited to support my work and the channel even further, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. With all that said and done, let's get to some crafting. Ok folks, let's start with the Mystic Tribute. This item is used to craft the second generation legendary weapons and trinkets. And to obtain it first you have to gather a bunch of intermediate crafting materials like blood, bones, claws, etc. etc. The exact amount uh, of materials that you will need you can see right now on the screen, but basically you will need 200 uh, of each type for tier 6, tier 5 you need 500, tier 4 and 3 you will need 100 of both tiers. The task to collect all those materials can look a bit challenging especially if you are a new player, but worry not, there are a few easy ways to get them. The first one is to farm like crazy the meta of the South Drizzlewood map. Another way is to use your favorite uh, gold farm method and then buy the missing materials from the trading post. The next method is my favorite one and this is how I funded every single legendary I crafted so far. There is no big secret behind it, basically I used my volatile magic to buy trophy shipment boxes. And if I remember correct, each trophy shipment box can contain around 10 tier 6 and tier 5 intermediate crafting materials. If I'm wrong, 
please feel free to correct me in the comments and if you want to know more about the volatile magic and the trophy shipment boxes please check this video next link to it you find in the description and in the comment section of this video once you've got all the required materials uh, you need to craft two of their corresponding gifts and this is where the real fun begins to do that you need a character with level 400 in one of the following crafting disciplines Artificer, Huntsman or Weaponsmith and if this is the first legendary item you're crafting it's good to know that you can purchase the recipes for the gifts from Miani or any other mystic forge vendor for 10 gold each. Now, we crafted all the necessary gifts and it's time to head to the Mystic Forge. In the Mystic Forge you have to drop twice Gift of Blood, Venom, Totems and Dust to craft two Gifts of Condensed Magic and then again twice Gift of Fang, Scales, Claws and Bones to craft two Gifts of Condensed Might. Then use the Mystic Forge again and drop in it the two recently crafted Gifts of Might and Magic. Add 77 Mystic Clovers and 250 Mystic Coins to the mix and voila! You have crafted the Mystic Tribute and completed the first step on your journey to get the Legendary Rig Conflux. Alrighty folks, uh, the next item we will craft on our epic journey is called Gift of the World. To complete this task we will need 4 other items, that's why I will divide the whole process on 4 smaller steps and also be prepared to use some of the world vs world currencies that I mentioned a bit earlier. So to begin with, let's pay a visit to legendary commander Warraiser. From him you have to buy 4 essences and the essences we are looking for are essence of strategy, animosity, carnage and annihilation. And while you are there you can buy also one mist pearl and one mist enhanced material, of course if you can afford them in that moment. Now let's combine each essence we just bought in the mystic forge with some other crafting materials to create their corresponding mystic essence variations. The exact amount of the required materials uh, you can see right now on the screen. Once you have acquired the 4 mystic essences, throw them again in the mystic forge to create gift of warfare. Now let's combine the gift of warfare with the mist pearl and the mist enhanced material in the mystic forge. Add to this mix one emblem of conqueror. The latter you get uh, when you have captured 100 world vs world objectives. This will happen naturally while you are farming the necessary world vs world currencies, so don't stress too much about it. Combining these four ingredients will create an item called War Commendation, and with this we'll complete the first small step. The second small step is much more simpler and easier to complete. Let's begin it with buying two items from Miani. The first one is Gift of Glory. For this item you will need 250 shards of glory which are rewarded throughout PvP reward tracks and PvP dailies. The second item is Gift of War. This one costs 250 memories of battle which, which are found in world vs world reward tracks. Now before you head to the Mystic Forge make sure that you have one Gift of Battle. This one you'll get when you complete the world vs world gift of battle item reward track. Make sure that you have this one on repeat because later we will need 4 more gift of battles. Then you must craft 1 cube of stabilized dark energy. To do that you must use one of your character with level 500 in one of the main crafting disciplines. However, the crafting disciplines of jeweler, scribe and cooking are excluded. And now probably you already guessed what you have to do next, but anyway, take the gift of glory, gift of battle, gift of war and the cube of dark energy. 
throw these four items in the mystic forge and you will create gift of the mist for the third small step uh, we will have to pay a visit again to our good old friend legendary commander war razor then buy from him one certificate of honor one certificate of heroics a globe of condensed spirit energy throw these items in the mystic forge and then add 250 memories of battle to create gift of war dedication the only ingredient that we are missing now to craft the soul desired gift of the world is 100 icy runestones the icy runestones can be bought from a norn in the frost gorge sound near the location where the breaking the claw of Jormak meta event takes place each icy rune costs one gold so be prepared mentally to say goodbye to 100 of your gold pieces once you have secured the icy rune stones combine them with the items we already crafted the war commendation the gift of the mist and gift of war dedication and claim your gift of the world before we start with the third step i want to motivate you a bit and tell you that most of the hard work is already behind us in this step we will craft only one item called gift of conquering for that we will need one legendary spike this item has a chance to drop randomly from both enemy players and npcs as you progress and collect the other required world versus world items you likely end up stockpiling a lot of them additionally as i mentioned earlier you will need four more gifts of battle you also need 250 memories of battle and two vision crystals this can be earned throughout various methods or crafted on your own in the fourth and final step of our journey, we will have to acquire an item called the Miss Band. The Miss Band is an ascended ring with selectable stats that can be purchased in the PvP World vs. World or Fractals. You can buy this item in any game mode where you have an access of that particular mode currency. And probably the best part here is that you can use this ring for an extended period of time while you're gathering the other required materials for this ginormous project. Just a quick note here, if you decide to buy this item using World vs World Skirmish Claim Ticket, the total number of tickets required for this project will increase from 1850 to 2020. This means you need to spend at least one additional week farming world vs world to reach this new requirement. And finally, the moment we have all been waiting for, combine all four major items, the mistribute, the gift of the world, the gift of conquering and the misband in the mystic forge. And there you have it dear friends, finally we have completed the last step on our epic journey and we have crafted the legendary ring conflux keep in mind that crafting a legendary in guild force 2 is not a small feat and require above all time and patience so congratulations thank you guys for joining me on uh, this journey and since i mentioned like thousand times in this video the mystic forge if you want to know more about it and learn how to get a portable Mystic Forge, be sure to check the video that is appearing right now on your screens. If you found this guide helpful, please don't forget to leave it a like, share your experience on crafting your first legendary in the comments below. Of course, there will be a lot more Guild Wars 2 guides coming in the future, so if you don't want to miss them or you just want to support my work even further, don't hesitate to smash that subscribe button. One more time, thank you very much and see you in the next one.